smell like bleach. It is Erin and today is the second day of spring although judging by the outside mother nature hasn't gotten the memo yet outside of my window the snow is falling and it has been falling since yesterday afternoon someone on my Facebook page said that God must have a sense of humor because he waited until the first day of spring to give us our largest snowstorm of the season Today is also National Fragrance Day. When you think of spring, what comes to mind? When I think of spring, I think of the fragrant air from blossoming spring flowers, such as daffodils and tulips and hyacinths. As a child, my mom used to give my sister and I each a sweet-smelling hyacinth as an Easter present alongside our Easter baskets. As an adult, Whenever I see or smell a hyacinth, I am instantly transported back to past Easter's and the hyacinths that graced our kitchen table and then the flower garden shortly after the holiday passed. Do you have a fragrance that stirs up past memories? A couple of weeks ago, I cooked a pork loin in the slow cooker while I was at work. And when I came home from work, the smell in the kitchen transported me back to my childhood and the smell of my grandmother's home-cooked meals that she prepared nightly for my grandfather and anyone else who happened to stop by at dinner time. The smell of aftershave transports me back to my grandparents' house on Sunday mornings watching my grandfather get ready for church. The smell of ripe bananas transports me back to a warehouse in Williamsport, Maryland, where my dad and his side of the family housed the yellow bunches of fruit in a storage cooler, along with small bottles of Tropicana orange juice and Tropicana pineapple juice, before shipping the fruit to nearby markets to be sold. The smell of vanilla musk transports me back to my childhood home where my mom sprayed the fragrance every morning before she got ready for work. Whatever the fragrance, scents and memories are closely related. We associate summer with the smell of suntan lotion and chlorine. 
the scents of cinnamon and clove remind us of autumn and the scents of peppermint and pine conjure up memories of Christmas trees and candy canes. The olfactory part of our brains, which is responsible for processing all of the scents that we smell, is next to the hippocampus part of our brain. Neuroscientists have discovered that one of the functions of the hippocampus part of our brains is to create new memory. Since the olfactory part of our brain is next to the hippocampus part, research suggests that scents and smells are closely linked. And since our memories are linked to those that we love, we associate certain scents with those memories. Since today is National Fragrance Day, I asked my husband to gather some scents from around our house and put them in paper bags so that I could guess the scent. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not sure what scents he's put in these bags, but there are only five bags. I have a notebook with five lines labeled and a pen so that after I sniff each of these bags, I'm gonna write down what I think the scent is and then I'll check to see if I'm correct a little bit later. There is a catch though. I will be blindfolded, so I will not know what the scent is. I will not be able to see what the scent is. All right, let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and grab the first bag. I can't see, I can see a little bit, but let's pull this in a little bit. First bag. Let's see what it smells like. Mmm. What does that smell like? I'm gonna guess that it smells like his cough drops. So for the first bag, I'm going to guess that it smells like his Fisherman's cough drops. Bag number two. This is the second. I can smell this smell all day. It's his cologne. I'm gonna guess that this one is his cologne. Number three. Smell like bleach. Oh. Maybe laundry detergent. Not sure about that one. It smells like bleach. Number four. It's some kind of 
essential oil that I have, I'm going to guess that it's digest digestive? I don't know like what it's called, but it's like a digestive blend from doTERRA. Alright, last one. Now that I have my guesses, or no guess, I'm going to check to see if my answers were correct. Number one. Oh, I was wrong. It is Flexol. Number one was Flexol. So I got one wrong. Stenson. I'm not sure if that's the name of his cologne or not, but it smells so good. I'm going to take that one to work with me. Number three. Bleach. I was right. Number four. Tea tree oil. I was wrong. I'm a little scared for number five. Not gonna fly. <laughs> Rubber cement. Explains why it was sticking together. Alright, I did very badly. I think I got one correct out of five. Comment down below and tell me some of your favorite scents and memories. And while you're there, if you liked this video, click the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Go out and carpe diem, but be careful if you live in Maryland or Pennsylvania because it is kind of slippery outside. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!